Hi, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Holy Week. Not all the details that happen during Holy Week, but what makes it really special is that during this time of the year, 2,000 years ago, what happened in Jerusalem because of Holy Week leading up to Passover and the things that happened after Passover. In order to get my message across, though, I'm going to be singing a little bit of a song, and I'm going to be playing my guitar. Hopefully that doesn't turn you off too much, because it's a really good message. I hope you listen to it. Here we go. I really love children's songs. The message is pure, it is to the point, and it's so simple that even adults can take it and say, I can use this in my life. This children's song that I'm about to do is... Um, it's pretty popular. It's not as popular as Jesus loves me, this I know. It's not as popular as that one, but it is pretty popular. I think you'll recognize it. Here we go. You ready? Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the children of the world. Remember that song? I love that because it has a very unique message. The message is profound, actually. If you've listened to Peter in his first lesson on the day of Pentecost, weeks after Jesus is crucified and, and rises from the grave, this is what the people say in Acts 2, verses 8 through 12. It says this, And how is it that each of us, Hear them in our own language to which we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt. And it goes on to list a bunch of different places where all of these people are listening to Peter and the rest of the group saying the gospel in their own language. That's really interesting because everybody is hearing this gospel of Jesus in their native tongue. You ever think about how important that is, how important it is that the Holy Spirit said, you know what, I'm not going to have them uh, need to interpret Hebrew or anything like that. They're going to hear it in their own language. Peter even says this, he quotes from the prophet Joel in Acts 2.21, he says, and it shall be that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Not just some people, every person that calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. In Acts 10, 34, we find out that that even includes the Gentiles. Opening his mouth, Peter said, I most certainly understand now that God is not one to show partiality, but in every nation, the man who fears him and does what is right is welcome to him. So what does that have to do today, right? What does that have to do with a children's song? Why does it matter that the gospel wasn't just for the descendants of Abraham? I thought we were talking about, you know, Jesus loves the children of the world, right? Well, there are two other verses to that Jesus loves the little children song, and I think they're going to kind of pull this all together. Here it goes. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world, red, brown, yellow, black, and white. They're precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. The last verse is what's very special about Holy Week and what will happen next Sunday. Jesus rose for all the children, all the children of the world, red, brown, yellow, black, and white. They're precious in his sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. That's significant, my friends. From the very, very beginning of God's new covenant with his people, he made it clear that it's not just for one specific group of people. It's not just for the descendants of Abraham. Now, everyone can be a follower of Jesus because Jesus loves all the children of the world. I hope this message blessed you. If it did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Maybe even ring the bell so you can be notified of the next video. I'm Bob Baltz with That's Jesus Channel. Be blessed.